Good morning to all. So today we will be focusing on the chapter which is Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. So in the textbook page number 14 onwards we have this poem. So basically regarding this poem, this poem was written by Langston Hughes and Hughes wrote in the same passionate language of the jazz music he heard. And regarding this poem, <coughs> and regarding this poem, it expresses the disparity between the dreams and reality for the African Americans. He wrote this poem when he was just 21 years old. And it is written in the free verse and in the diction of conversation. And also the mother tells her son that her life has not been a smooth one and describes the challenges in her life using the metaphor of a staircase. And the mother figure persuades the son to keep climbing so that he reaches the biblical promised land. And in this poem, the poet addresses any reader who might be losing faith and offers hope and advice for overcoming the difficult days. So this is a kind of optimistic poem in which we get a kind of positive feeling after going through this poem. So basically here we have to focus on the staircase which is a metaphor and also a kind of imagery in which the staircase is a kind of biblical image of the promised land. So here the promised land means the Vaktata Nada. This means that the heaven itself. So promised land means the heaven itself. So here the staircase is in the promised land. So in this poem we have to focus on the staircase which is one of the most important aspects that we have to focus on while we are going through this poem. So let us move on to this poem itself. So well son I will tell you life for me ain't be no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare. But all the time I has been climbing on and reaching the landings and turning the corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't be no light. So boy, don't you turn back, don't you sit down on the steps because you find it's kinda hard. Don't you fall now. For I was still going honey, I was still climbing, and life for me ain't be no crystal stair. So here we had to focus on the first important line of this poem in which life for me ain't be no crystal stair. So well son I will tell you life for me ain't be no crystal stair. It's had stacks in it and splinters. So a splinter means a small, thin, sharp piece of wood. So basically, life for me ain't be no crystal share. It's had tacks in it and splinters. And also regarding the term tack means a small, sharp, broad head nail. So basically, it's a common form of this nail. So basically, here we have the description of the staircase. So, well son I will tell you. So this is a kind of conversation with, between the mother and son. And life for me ain't be no crystal stair. So any kid you know you kill him or a crystal stair boy at Rasugana. Then it's had tags in it and spindles and also and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare. So bare means not covered and torn up means tear, which means make to pieces with force. So here and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare. So here also we have the description regarding this staircase in which the boards were torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare. So this is a kind of wooden staircase, an old staircase. So the boards were torn up and also the places with no carpet on the floor bare. So this means that the difficulty is faced in, the, in our life. So here the mother says that, well son, I will tell you, life for me ain't be no crystal stair. So crystal staircase It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare. So, atrakkiyoru difficulties neriyunna avasthe ayirunnu ippolum jeevithathil ennu enna aanu ivade mother parayunnu so basically here we had to focus on the structure of this poem how the poem begins so it's like a conversation between the mother and son so well son i will tell you a kind of advice a piece of advice life for me ain't be no crystal stair it's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare then after that and moving to the second part of this poem 
but all the time i was been climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners so this means that so all these kinds of issues or problems were tackled by this mother in which but all the time i was cl still climbing on and reaching the landings and turning corners so etra prashnam vannal adinokke cover idu povunna avasthai ayirunnu motherinte jeevithathil undayirunnu so basically but all the time i was been climbing on and reaching the landings and turning the corners so the landings and corners so these two are very related to the staircase itself so basically while we focusing on the image of a staircase there should be a kind of turnings or corners and also some flat surface which means the land landings so all these kinds of terms which means that the difficulties faced faced in life and also how the mother overcome all these kinds of issues and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't be no light so in her life she faced many problems in her this life this signifies that sometimes going in the dark so irritilude povunna avastha darkness lude povunna avastha so the darkness means a kind of negative feeling or a kind of failure and where there ain't be no light so oru oru jeevithathil oru velichum labikkatha oru supportum labikkatha oru avasthai ayirunnu jeevithathil ennanu ivade mother parayundu so boy so this is the final part of this poem in which so boy don't you turn back don't you sit down on the steps because you find it kinder hard don't you fall now for i was still going honey i was still climbing and life for me ain't be no crystal step. so again the mother says that so boy don't you turn back orikkum pinnotu varirad never give up and then a feeling then don't you sit down on the steps because you find it's kinder hard and don't you fall now so etra difficulty face idalo etra problems vannalo adinokke eppolum overcome cheyade orikkum back lot alla eppolum top like thane povanra avastha aa or feeling aa or never give up and or feeling pol ivade venam ennanu or mother parayund don't you fall now for i was still going honey i was still climbing and life for me ain't be no crystal clear so this means that you have to tackle all these kinds of problem all these kinds of issues in your life and you have to still climbing on and life for me ain't be no crystal clear so etra ke buddhimut undayalo adinokke overcome cheyittu eppolum top like povan eppolum adinu or vijayathilekku povan successilekku povan vendittu eppolum shramikkanam ennanu or advice aanu ivale mother ee sanna kodukunnu so basically this is a very short poem of 21 lines so regarding this poem okay son listen up my life hasn't been an easy climb up a set of crystal stairs the stairs i had to climb up were full of tacks and splinters the steps were falling apart and there were spots no longer covered by carpet but i have been climbing anyway the whole time i have reached the landings and i have turned the corners i kept climbing up even when it was dark and there was no light to guide me so son you can turn back don't sit down on the step because it turns out to be pretty hard going don't fall down now because i am still going honey i am still climbing and my life hasn't been an easy climb up a set of crystal stair so this is the quick overview regarding this poem now we had focused on the themes in this poem so the first one is regarding the racism and perseverance so mother to son is a dramatic monologue about surviving in the face of american racism the speaker gives her son advice about how to improve his lot in a racist society through an extended metaphor about climbing a set of stairs while white people can climb up a crystal stair meaning they enjoy a smooth and easy ascent black people are forced to take a dangerous and dark staircase in this way the speaker argues that racism make it much more difficult for black people to succeed in society yet she also suggests that they can overcome many obstacles through the perseverance and mutual support and also the speaker distinguishes between two different kinds of staircases and by extension between the two different kinds of paths through life on the one hand there is the staircase that she had to climb which is dangerous and falling apart with loose tacks and splinters sometimes the staircase has even been dark on the other hand there is a crystal stair so the crystals are smooth shiny and beautiful they suggest the glamour and wealth in other words the crystal stair is basically the opposite of the staircase the speaker has had to climb so these two staircases aren't meant to be taken literally rather they are the part of an extended metaphor for the unequal opportunities and challenges that black face in their life the white people have an easier and smoother course 
to her realizing their dreams the poem argues black people like this speaker and her son have to fight through difficult dangerous challenges just to reach the same level then the speaker is realistic and straight forward about these difficulties she doesn't sugar coat anything she doesn't suggest that the racism will end and she never imagines in this conversation with her son at least a world without the obstacles and dangers that she has endured but she is also persistent despite everything she announces i has been climbing on in other words the speaker believes that she and her son can still lead the successful lives despite of obstacle in their way and she offers the poem to her son as encouragement she wants to him to follow her example to be as persistent and determined as she has been so that's regarding the theme of this poem so basically the major theme of this poem is the racism and perseverance now we have to focus on the symbols in this poem so the first one is the crystal stair so so the crystal stair that speaker mentioned in the lines 2 and 20 is a symbol for the privilege power and above all the advantages that white people enjoy in a racist society throughout the poem the speaker uses an extended metaphor to describe the challenges and obstacles she, she had to overcome as a black woman and her life has been like the climbing a dark dangerous poorly maintained staircase the crystal stair is just the opposite of the staircase she had to use crystals are smooth shiny and beautiful they suggest the glamour luxury and and ease while she has been struggling to climb up a treacherous and dingy set of stairs other people have had an easy even pleasant climb the crystal stair further suggests that the unfair double standard of a racist society while the white people have an easy unimpeded unimpeded climb toward their goals in life the speaker has to face the constant obstacles and dangers then the second one is regarding the darkness so regarding the darkness the darkness in this poem is a symbol for hopelessness and despair and it appears in line 12 where the speaker describe how as she climbed up a dangerous poorly maintained staircase she was sometimes going in the dark the staircase that she described is part of an extended metaphor for the difficulties dangers and obstacles that she was encountered as a black woman living in a racist society as a symbol then the dark that appears in the line 12 suggests how serious and demoralizing those challenges have been at times she has lost hope plunged into despair and yet she has continued to climb the stairs despite everything so the first one was regarding the staircase second one was regarding the darkness the third one is regarding the light so the light is a symbol of hope in the poem in line 13 the speaker notes that she has often had no light in other word she has had no hope as a symbol then light works with the symbol that appears in line 12 the dark both symbol emphasize that the speaker has experienced the despair and hopelessness as she has struggled to overcome the obstacles and dangers of living in a racist society it is striking that the speaker uses two separate symbols to say the same thing so the first one is regarding the darkness second one is regarding the light so it suggests that this point is really important for the speaker she knows how demoralizing it can be to fight against the racism to try to thrive in spite of racist challenges and obstacles but she has kept fighting and striving anyway and she thinks her son should do the same so that's regarding the symbols in this poem then finally we had focus on the setting of this poem so the setting of mother to son is broad it describes the american society in the early 20th century when the racist laws limited where the black people could live work and go to school however it's not immediately apparent that the poem is taking on such a broad setting at first the mother to son seems to be set in the staircase the speaker spends a good deal of time describing that staircase it's dark and poorly repaired a dangerous and frightening thing to climb but it gradually becomes clear that the staircase is in the but it gradually becomes clear that the staircase is in a literal place instead it's an extended metaphor for the unfair obstacles and dangers that racism creates for black americans as they 
as they strive to realize their dreams and aspirations. So the, so the poem setting is much more broad than the initially appears. So the poem setting is much more broad than it initially appears. So that's regarding the setting of this poem. So despite the obstacles and dangers of Rachel's unfair double standard, the speaker believes that her son can succeed if he follows her advice and pushes on, regardless of the difficulties he faces. The speaker is thus a passionate critic of American racism and a strong advocate for the black self-empowerment, championing the capacity of black people to succeed through the perseverance and mutual support. Indeed, the poem is an example of such support, with the, with the speaker offering her hard-won wisdom to her son to help to help him thrive. So basically, the speaker of this poem is the black woman and a mother, and she is talking directly to her son, giving him giving him advice drawn from her drawn from her own life about how to survive and thrive the race and thrive in a racist society. So that's for today. Thank you. Happy learning.